so let's discuss more about this so when we create the iam users okay then what is the iam user that is the first question so as we, as i said that we don't want to use the root account into day to day life activities even if i am using this root account in day to day life activities obviously i won't be sharing the credential details with each and every team member that i have right because when we are using the aws resources or when we are using the aws cloud our entire team would be accessing those resources to work on them correct so for accessing those resources they need their own credentials right and according to their credentials or according to their job role we can assign them the permissions to access different kind of resources so for getting them their credentials their username and password we create something called as iam user so it is nothing but the entity that you create in the aws so that that user can get inside of the aws platform and we can give required permission to that particular user so iam user can represent a human or a workload who wants to interact with aws services so as you can see over here administrator is there what is this this icon symbolizes the permission policies so we are going to discuss about these policies soon in our slide okay so according to whatever is being mentioned in this policy administrator would be granted the access so administrator is having the access to s3 bucket ec2 instance as well as iam user list whereas if you see developer then his policy that is being attached okay we will be giving names to this so administrator who can be administrator roy can be administrator let's say shruti is a developer and uh, and uh, let's say jay is auditor so shruti would be only accessing the ec2 instance because she only requires the access of ec2 instance so here we follow the principle of least privilege whatever permissions are required only those permissions should be rolled out to these particular users and how do we roll out those permissions we roll out those permissions by attaching the policies to these users what are policies we are going to discuss soon so here we will be creating three users onto our iam roy shruti and jay so roy would be by default when you create the users okay they do not have any permissions so we have to attach the policies for giving them the permissions so roy would be having permissions for accessing all three resources shruti will only be accessing ec2 jay would be accessing the s3 bucket and iam user list right 